great and the date yesterday was 12 so what number comes after 12 13 thank you for helping and now what i want you to do is to get your grammar booklet because we're going to use it today grab some pencils and come back you are back so now sit properly and listen carefully so everyone our lesson will be about linking verbs i know that you have an idea about linking verbs because we have learned before that linking verbs connect the subject with a word that gives information about the subject i know this is too long but let me explain it i want you to be focused okay so are you listening so everyone the first thing that i am going to ask you about is what does a verb mean what does a verb mean so when i say verb what is the first thing that will come to your mind you can use your background knowledge to answer my question because we have learned before what does a verb mean so who's gonna help me to answer this question abdullah or afra aisha or ali ali or amna amna or azari fatima Hind, Jude or Khalaf Maha, how are you today? Mahra, are you going to help me to answer the question? Marwa, are you following? Maryam, are you listening? Moza, how are you today? Mubarak, I missed you a lot Noura, how are you doing? Omar Rauda Saeed and Saeed Are you listening? Saif Hi Sultan and Yusuf So who's gonna help me today? What does a verb mean? Something we do Something we do Can you give me an example? Yes, like drawing or running or eating lovely that's true so let me write a sentence and I want you to find the verb I need your help so who's gonna help me let me write the sentence I'm gonna use my pen let me write it over here okay so let me say hint is good okay and period so everyone look at the sentence over here and I want you to find the verb hint is good so where's the verb everyone who's gonna help me while ago we said that the verb is something we do for example eating running playing but do you see any verb over here mm. so have you found the verb no okay in this case what i am going to do i'm gonna use the linking verbs i'm gonna use the linking verbs to connect the subject okay with the word that gives information about the subject so hint is the subject and what is the information that we got to know about hint that hint is good so everyone one more time is is the linking verb and we used the word is to connect the subject okay everyone 
to the to the word okay so we get to know that hand is good so let me write another sentence okay so let me write my students are good you are my students and you are very good you are the best so everyone do you see any verb here no no but you can see something else I'm gonna help you there is a verb everyone and we call it helping verb okay exactly as here as same as here as you can see we used the word is to link the subject to the word right and we can call is a helping verb because there is no action verb here so we used is instead so if you look at the other sentence let's read it one more time my students are good so here where is the linking verb that connects the sentence or connects sorry the subject to the word are are well done so are is the linking verb or the helping verb so what everyone <clears throat> did we write is here and are here do you remember that we use is with the singular nouns and we use are with the plural nouns so as you can see everyone I used is here because hint is only one person so I use is with singular nouns when there is only one person or one thing or whatever while here when I say my students are good students are more than one that's why I used are okay so everyone I use is with singular nouns and I use are with a plural nouns singular means one and plural means more than one finally let's read the sentence together I am good so do you see any verb over here no no verb I mean when I say verb I mean action verbs okay action verbs there's no action verbs here so what can you say about this sentence everyone when I say I am good I is the subject good is the adjective or the word that I used to describe the subject and what about am am is a linking verb and we can call it also a helping verb so everyone here is are and am are linking verbs and we call we can call them also helping verbs they are helping the sentence when the action verb is not here and we use is are and am in the simple present tense and today we are going to learn how to use the linking verbs or let me say the helping verbs in simple past tense 
So what did we do now is to revise our background knowledge because we have learned about linking verbs and how to use them in the simple present tense in the previous lesson. And today we're gonna, we're gonna learn how to use them in the simple past tense. So are you ready to start the lesson? Yes! So what I want you to do is to put your hands in the air. Okay, everyone, I wanna see your hands up in the air and shout. I am ready to learn. I am ready to learn. So let's get started. So everyone, our objectives for today, okay, are over here. So let's read them together. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify the linking verbs was, were, in sentences. Also, you will be able to write a sentence using linking verbs. Wow! It means we're going to learn a lot of things today. That's amazing! Here we go. The part that I love. There are two videos about linking verbs. So, enjoy watching! Click on the link, watch the video, and something else. You can find the videos in the description below. Click on them and you will go directly to the video. Okay, here are some information we need to read or we need to understand. Okay, so let's read it carefully. A linking verb does not show action. When I say action, it means you're going to do something like running, playing, eating, shouting, mm, dancing, running. What else? I need your help. Think about some action verbs correct well done okay so a linking verb does not show action linking verbs can show ideas from the past okay and remember we are gonna learn how to use the linking verbs in the simple past tense and we have learned before what does simple past tense mean. So we usually use the simple past tense when we talk about things that happened in the past. So things that happened yesterday, before yesterday, last week or year ago. So, can you give me a sentence or let me say something else. Can you tell me what happened with you yesterday? So, think about something that happened in the past. Yesterday, I was very happy. So, let's write the sentence over here. Thank you for your sentence. So, yesterday I was happy. Okay, so everyone look at the sentence. So everyone remember always start your sentence with a capital letter and end it with a period. Okay, so let's read the sentence together. Yesterday I was happy. So do you see any action verb over here? Yes. Do you see an action verb? 
Where is it? Do you see something like eat, run, jump, something we do? No. No. Okay. So, there is no action. Verb. Verb. But there is a linking or helping verb. The linking verb is was. Well done. This is the linking verb. Okay. And I use the linking verb to connect the subject with the word that gives information about the subject. I is the subject, happy is the word, and was is the linking verb, and also we can click the helping verb. Because he's helping the sentence when there is no action verb. Let me read or let me write another sentence and I want you to listen carefully. She was sad. So, do you see any action verb? No. Well done. There is no action. Verb. But what can you see instead? A linking verb. A linking verb. And the linking verb is? Was. Thank you for helping. Excellent. So, I'm going to write one more sentence. My sentence is? They were uh oh E R E they were let's say they were mm, can you help me? They were awesome. They were awesome. Excellent. They were awesome. So everyone, do you see any action verb in this sentence? No. There is no action verbs, but we used something instead of action verbs. What is it everyone? Linking verbs. Linking verbs or a linking verb which is? Where? So, this is a linking verb, or we can call it also helping verb. But, do you notice that here we used was, and here we used where? Yes. I'm gonna tell you why. Because everyone, we use the linking verb was with a singular nouns. When we talk about one thing, okay, everyone? So look over here, she. We're talking about only one person. While over here, when I say they, they means more than one. That's why I used where. So I used where over here because they means more than one. Okay, so I use they with the plural nouns. So everyone, let's look at the table over here and read it together. I was, you were, he she, it, was, we, were, they, were. Thank you for helping. Now I'm going to draw my <clears throat> small map and the map will help me to remember when to use was and when to use where. So what we are going to do is to draw two maps. Okay, let me draw two. 
maps okay and these maps will help you to remember when to use was and when to use when okay so I'm going to write in the middle here was and here I'm gonna write <coughs> where okay sorry okay so all this was comes after she he it and I in the simple past tense okay I use them when I want to talk about something that happened in the past and I use where or where usually comes after they we and you okay everyone so look at the map and I want you also to draw it <clears throat> okay if you have a piece of paper draw the two maps because uh, this will help you later to remember when to use was and where okay everyone and here now let's practice and complete the sentences I really need your help now please be focused and listen carefully okay I know you are the best and you can do it it's easy so let's start okay so Let's read the first sentence to together. So, what I am going to use, you are going to help me. We're going to use was or where, okay? So remember to use the, the map, okay, everyone? I'm going to draw it here. So, it will help you to answer all these questions correctly I'm gonna write here was <clears throat> and here I'm gonna write where okay so here is my map so here we go the map or the maps are over here and you can use them and the maps will help you to answer all these questions correctly okay everyone so let's answer these questions together and remember the map will help you to answer them correctly so question number one it space very hot yesterday so look at the map so what we are going to write was or where correct was so it was so we're going to write here was let's move to number two i space having fun at the park i so look at the map okay so i was so we're going to write was number three the birds space thirsty so as you can see we're talking about more than one bird birds so remember when the noun is plural we are going to write where after the noun in the simple past tense so i'm going to write over here where Okay, number four, their space babies crying. Their 
So I mean more than one when I say, look at the, the words over here, more than one baby. So what I'm going to write, when it's plural, I'm going to write where. Well done. Maria, so Maria is only one, one person. So it's singular now. So we're going to write Maria was. My toys dirty, my toys space dirty. So more than one, we're going to write where. You, okay, let's look over here. You were nice. So, you were nice. And here, my friend and I, my friends, sorry, my friends and I, okay, more than one. So, we're going to write where. Where playing last week. So, thank you everyone for helping. I'm going to keep the maps because we're going to use them. We will move to task number one. Okay, everyone. So, what I want you to do is to use your grammar booklet. Okay. Go to page uh, 77. Okay. Go to page 77. Okay, so let's get started. Please open page. 77 okay so I'm gonna erase the maps but put them in your mind okay so what you are going to do is to read the sentence and to choose the proper linking verb okay so let's go to number one who's gonna help me to read okay so let's read it together Last week, I, you're going to circle the correct one, okay? Last week, I was near the ocean or were near the ocean. Correct. Well done. I was. Great. Okay, so let's move to number two. There was or were whales nearby. Whales. So more than one. So we're going to circle where. Excellent. Number three. The birds was or were in the sky. So birds. More than one. So we're going to circle where. Question number four. The boats was or were in the distance. So, as you can see, more than one. So, we're going to choose was or where. Where. Correct. The last one. The scene was or where peaceful. It's only one. So it's was. Thank you for helping. You are great. So let's check our answers. Let's go to the first one. Last week I was near the ocean. Correct. There were whales nearby. The birds were in the sky. Boats were in the distance. The scene was peaceful. So you can copy the answers and write them. So task number two everyone, what I want you to do is to write a sentence of your own using a linking verb. So here are the two linking verbs. 
So think about something that happened with you in the past or any sentence you want and use these linking verbs. So let me write my mom was happy yesterday. This is my first sentence. Let me write another one using the linking verb where. My friends are lovely. Uh oh, this is in the simple present tense, right? I need to use where and write a sentence in the simple past tense. So I'm gonna change R to where. Now my sentence is correct. My friends were lovely, okay? Okay, so everyone, it's not bad to make mistakes, but you need to learn from your mistakes. And here we go. This is the last thing that we are going to do today. Okay, so our closure is to unscramble the following sentences. Okay, so the first one is careful I was. So everyone remember you need to start your sentence with the capital letter. So we're gonna write a proper sentence. I was careful and period at the end. Let's go to number two. Were cats playful? So cats were playful. And the last one. Shining sun was the, so let's go to the because it starts with the capital letter, so the, sun was shining, so as you can see, we used the linking verbs to link the subject to the information or to the word that tells something about the subject so thank you for helping i am so proud of you you are amazing keep up the good work bye have a great day